everybody. Lawman Mike with Lawman Guitars. That's www.lawmanguitars.com. Well, I've got a really, really cool 1971 Yamaha FG300 today. Now, these guitars are the top of the line in the Yamaha guitars, and they're not at all like the new ones. If you're thinking, oh, that's just another new Yamaha guitar, they're remaking some of these. This is the original. This is a 1971. It's original from head to toe, except the bridge pins and the strings, and it is just awesome. Now, uh, what you want to look for in these guitars is you want to make sure they're made in Japan first of all. There's a lot of the remakes that are made in uh, Taiwan and Korea. You want to look inside the sound hole and make sure it has the orange label that says FG300 Nippon Gaki. Now, what does Nippon Gaki mean? I had to look that up myself. So I thought you might be interested to know that the Nippon Gaki means musical instrument Japan. So it's basically a Japan musical instrument. So I thought that was kind of interesting, but you want to look for Nippon Gaki inside the, the uh, sound hole to make sure it's one of the originals from Japan. Now this guitar is just absolutely gorgeous. They were made to compete with the Hummingbirds uh, of Gibsons, and uh, they're really very, very close. They've got this beautiful pickguard on here, which is just outstanding. It's imprinted and then colored. It's translucent, so you're seeing some of the finish show through it. And uh, usually there's a, a tip or two that's, uh, that's coming loose on these. I had Jeff the Tech go over it, and uh, uh, I think he didn't even have to repair this one, if I recall correctly. Um, and, uh, but it's absolutely beautiful. A lot of these are cracked or broken or missing tips or peeling up. This one is great. Uh, now, it's also got a uh, adjustable tunematic style bridge on these, which is also original. And like I said, I think I had to replace the... Uh, uh, bridge pins, but that's the only thing that's not original. Got a spruce top, it's X braced, so a uh, very nice feature. And uh, it's got, uh, looks like rosewood back and sides and uh, mahogany neck. And it's also got the Yamaha tuners. So uh, this thing is original, original, original. Now, this guitar is not a closet classic. I'll have you know. This guitar has been played and played a lot. You can see that there is just a ton of pick scratching that's going on down here. There's some right up in here. Obviously it was a stroke that was going like this diagonally across the strings. So someone was playing some uh, cowboy chords on this guitar a lot. And uh, there's just a little bit of pitting in the uh, uh, top three frets. Uh, some gouging in the in the uh, uh, fretboard, which just comes from lots of play. Nothing that will affect the uh, guitar playing at all. The original frets are in beautiful shape. Uh, they look like they have a ton of life left in them. It has the original metal Yamaha truss rod cover, and this guitar is just absolutely beautiful. And uh, it's a lot of fun to play. Um, they uh, they set up very very nicely. I had Jeff the Tech go over it and uh, ensure that. Uh, it has absolutely the best action it can have. Um, you can certainly raise it if you're a big-handed guy. Guys like me, we like them to play just a little bit easier. I'm uh, basically a Gibson acoustic guitar player, so uh, my guitars have to play low or I don't like them. And if I don't like them, I don't sell them. So you're going to get a guitar that plays just really nicely. It's really loud. I mean, you're not going to fall behind anybody with a strong strumming hand with this guitar. It sounds great. It plays great. It looks beautiful. You're not going to look like a rookie showing up with this one with all the pick scratches on the top. But it's in beautiful, beautiful shape. And I also am really happy to report, like most of the guitars we have at Lawman Guitars, I have the original Yamaha case, which is really great. I don't always get these with the cases. This one came with the case and uh, it has the gold interior which you're supposed to see. Some of them have a Yamaha uh, sticker on on the side. This one does not uh, but it has all the other features including the uh, uh, Tolex that I'm used to seeing on Yamaha so I don't uh, believe that this is just a standard case. This would be the Yamaha case including these uh, closures which I'm used to seeing on the Yamahas also. The accessory box is still here. It works. It's got this beautiful gold plush line uh, really, just a little bit of Tolex missing on the uh, on the fanny end of the uh, of the uh, case, but it's in beautiful shape. All the latches work, all the hinges work. The original handles here, a beautiful case for a beautiful guitar. I hope you'll check it out and all of our guitars at www.lawmanguitars.com. Thanks a lot for watching today.